Hey everybody, Jeff here from the Helmet Center, helmetcenter.com. Today I'm going to be doing a product evaluation of the Arrive Vector 2. Okay, let's get started on the Vector 2. First off, it's a DOT Snell 2010 certified helmet. You'll notice here the safety standard on the back of the helmet. It is a fiberglass shell, which means it is very, very strong. Uh, it also features a fully removable liner, unlike the Vector 1, which only had removable cheek pads, the Vector 2 now gives you the ability to pull everything out of the helmet. While we're on that point, I'm going to show you something here. Pop one of these cheek pads out. Okay, one thing Arai has done is they have something called the Peel Away Temple Pad Layer. And what that means, when you buy your Vector helmet, right out of the box, Arai has already pre-cut a 5 millimeter section of this pad, which can easily be pulled out. You may not need to pull it out, but it's an option that's there, which means you may not have to go out and buy different padding to customize the fit. It's something you can do yourself, and that's pretty cool. It's actually the first time we've ever seen this on a helmet, and it's something that's exclusive to Arai helmets. Okay, in terms of ventilation, the Arai Vector does have a single intake vent on the front of the helmet, operated by the slider here. On the rear of the helmet, you have a single control slider, which operates two moving plastic parts that will cover up the exhaust ports and the lower portion of the helmet you also have some additional exhaust vents down through there as well. Okay and lastly I guess we're talking about vents we do have the chin defogger vent. Alright as far as optics go of course the Arai shield is a single there's no detents on the shield that's one thing that's kind of different from some of the companies out there some do some don't Arai chooses not to so it's a smooth operation up and down. There is a lock mechanism here on the front of the shield. You can slide that in the forward position and that will actually lock the shield in the closed position for you know, racing applications or whatever you have going there. Uh, it is a toolless shield removal system. Pop a couple levers, take the shield right off. It can be done in a couple of seconds. A lot of folks are afraid of the Arai shield change. It does come on a DVD in the box to show you how to do it. I'm sure on our website we probably have a video showing how it's removed and reinstalled as well. Uh, okay, so we talked about the quick change liner, the fully removable system, uh, that pad uh, temple layer that can come out. Um, another thing worth noting here on, on the Arai helmet is the whole system on the top of the helmet in terms of the vents, these are actually attached with double stick tape. A lot of companies screw them down. Arai's theory here is in an accident they want these to break off, break away, and let the helmet slide smoothly across the surface without anything grabbing and twisting or contorting the helmet. And that's one of Arai's theories as far as using the double stick uh, tape on there. Uh, other than that, uh, this helmet looks like it's going to be a, uh, a winner here this year. We're going to take it out here on a test ride and see how it actually performs for real rather than letting the catalog tell us how it works. So we're going to get out there and see how the uh, Arai Vector 2 works. Okay, we are on board with the Arrive Vector 2. We're going to do a little product evaluation and see how uh, the Vector 2 performs in the real world. Well, speaking of the real world, it's about 112 degrees here in Phoenix today. It's awful warm. I want to thank my boss for letting me ride uh, on a nice hot day. But it gives us a good chance to uh, test the, uh, the abilities here of the uh, Vector 2 in terms of uh, venting and see how this thing performs. So, on the review, we're going to talk about uh, the venting uh, and a handful of other things, so uh, let's get started. First off, uh, venting on the helmet is great. Uh, one thing I noticed back there at the traffic light when I opened up the vents, uh, while I was sitting still and opened the vents, I could actually tell which way it was open and closed, which really says a lot about a helmet. Uh, most helmets uh, that I've ridden, and there's a lot, 
uh, you can't even tell if the vents are opened uh, unless you're moving incredibly fast. Uh, but sitting at a traffic light, I can actually tell the uh, air is moving through sitting still. So I'm pretty impressed by that. Uh, while we're moving here around 70 miles an hour, uh, venting's great. I do have the eyelet vents open here on the uh, shield. Of course, the top vents opened. And uh, of course, the, the rear, which you probably can't see, but uh, got a nice cooling effect. It's hot air, but it's air, so I'll, I'll take it. In terms of noise, uh, actually, it's pretty nice. Uh, normally, I ride with earplugs, but uh, right now, uh, I'm not. And uh, I definitely say it's quieter than my X12. Uh, it does seem a little quieter than some of the other Arai models we've ridden, uh, including the RX-Q uh, and uh, Corsair 5. Uh, but comfort-wise, it's great. Noise, like I said, uh, I actually could almost ride this thing without earplugs in and probably wouldn't be a problem. Uh, Visibility. The visibility is, is, is quite good. The only thing that I've ever uh, really kind of pointed out as being a problem, and it's not even really a problem, but the two eyelet vents, I guess the trade-off for the ventilation is you're going to see two little black uh, squares right above your field of vision. Uh, as I ride the right helmets, it's never really a problem, but it's something that I always kind of, I catch initially because I'm not used to seeing it because really nobody else on the market's really doing that. Uh, but the trade-off for the ventilation that they do offer, I think is well worth uh, having them in. Okay, let's talk about the Comfort. The uh, Vector 2 Comfort, this thing, as I've said before, uh, this helmet probably is the most comfortable helmet I've ever had my head into. Uh, the liner is incredibly soft. Uh, I just can't say enough great things about the, uh, the construction and the way the helmet feels on my head. I could probably ride this thing. 12 hour days and, and think nothing of it. Uh, it's balanced very well. Uh, ju just a, a great feeling helmet. I can see myself riding one of these things. Uh, anyhow, thanks for watching the video and we'll get back and do a uh, final synopsis. Hey everybody, all right, I'm back. I just got done riding the Arai Vector 2. Uh, I kind of covered a lot of the things on the bike, but I just want to kind of reiterate uh, some of the different things that I noticed. Venting on the helmet, very, very good. Strong 7.5, 8 in terms of venting. Uh, there are a few helmets out there that do a little bit better, but this is definitely up there in the venting department. Comfort, the liner, it's hard to find anything better than a Vector 2 in terms of the actual softness of the padding. It's, it's great. Uh, can't say enough good things about that. Uh, the visor, as far as width, uh, the extra five millimeters makes a big old difference as far as being able to look over your shoulder to see what's behind you without having to really contort your neck. So that was something I really enjoyed uh, riding the Vector 2. Um, between the fully removable liner, composite shell, Snell 2010 DOT, uh, helmet starts around $479. Uh, graphics, of course, are going to go up from there. But give us a call here at the store. Usually there's a sale going on on the Arise and all kinds of helmets here. So give us a call. See what we can do about helping out with one of these things. Uh, the number, we can be reached at 866-NEW-HELMET, 866-NEW-HELMET. Once again, my name is Jeff. I'm with the Helmet Center. We appreciate you watching our video.